hello everyone so in previous video we have seen like how actually we can create a table and how actually we can insert a values into a table in this video we are going to see some of the constraint which is very important while creating a table so let us discuss that so we are discussing about the not null and the default constraint okay i will give you one scenario so this is my table okay suppose i am creating one table uh, so what is the syntax create table and the employee one table i am creating i am passing this all the column id name email and the location id name and the employee and location if i will execute one table will be created now suppose i am inserting a values okay the values got inserted now i am now i am inserted another value now you can see id and name got inserted now if i will show you the table so let's start from employee one if i will do you can see i have inserted two records one is id and second is the id2 name is rohan email and the location okay but in real world scenario what actually happens if you'll create like this right so for taking example suppose this is one sign up form okay in this sign up form what actually we have we have a first name we have a last name we have a email and the password okay so this is nothing but our table structure like the all the values whatever we will put that will get inserted into a backend table okay so we have a first name column we have last name comma we have email and we have a password okay while doing a sign up in any application okay suppose you are not filling any email so what generally we get error we get error like email can, email shouldn't be a email should have a value like that error generally we get right because the some star will be put here and they will throw an error okay because uh, while sign up in the application you should have a valid email address and you should have a contact number so that should be a mandatory field that should have okay while, while doing a sign up okay similarly here also but in this case what actually happening whenever we are creating a table and we are inserting a value uh, so suppose i know only the id and name so i am able to insert the values only the id and name okay but if anyone is not giving any email address then also i am able to put the uh, values like it is coming as a null but that should that we should handle how actually we can handle we can handle by using a constraint that is a null constraint okay so what actually we will do we will create one more table okay in this table what we will do okay so this is the we are creating employee 2 table okay id is integer name is varchar email is varchar but i want like everyone should put value here okay so i will give not null means this column should shouldn't be a null this column shouldn't be a null if anyone is not giving any value it should throw error like email should have a valid value okay so i am giving one constraint not null okay so that is a not null constraint okay now if i will show you employee to execute now in this table in this table if i will try to insert one value values suppose only i know the id and name suppose i only i know the id and name okay i am only giving the id and the name is manish okay now if i will execute i am not giving any email address okay now if i will execute it is giving me one error like cannot insert the value null into the column email okay so what actually happened whenever we have given one constraint not null means email shouldn't be a null okay so that is why we have specified not null while creating a table itself so this constraint will help so we, if anyone is not if anyone is not putting any email address here so it will throw error and in a api side or in a front end side we will show one error like you, you should put a email address like that okay so that is the use of the not null constraint i hope you got it okay similarly okay in a location okay suppose we'll create one more table okay so what actually generally happen is like suppose i am opening my store in a india only suppose i am opening my store in a india only so uh, if anyone is not giving a location right if anyone is not giving a lo location by default it should take a by default it should take a uh, india so we have one constraint that is a default so what we will write location if anyone is not giving any values so default value should be india india it shouldn't be a null it should give us a india okay so this is how actually i created a table now if i will try to show you now if i will try to insert a value insert into employee 3 okay i know id i know name and i will insert only the email because email is a mandatory field right and the values i will put i am not giving any location values okay i'll give id as a one name is manis 
ओके एंड द ईमेल आई विल गिव ए बी सी एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम जी मेल डॉट कॉम ओके नाउ इफ आई ट्राई टू इंसर्ट अ वैल्यूज आई एम नॉट गिविंग एनी लोकेशन नेम ओके बट देन ऑल्सो यू सी ओके दिस गॉट सक्सेसफुली एंड नाउ इफ आई शो यू द टेबल सेलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम इम्प्लॉय थ्री इम्प्लॉय थ्री नाउ इफ आई शो यू द डेटा यू कैन सी द लोकेशन इट्स कमिंग एस अ इंडिया even though we haven't defined even we haven't put any values for the location then also it's coming as a india because while creating a table itself we have given the default value as a india so if anyone is not giving any value for the location by de default it will take as a india and the email is a mandatory field so if you will not put uh, if you will not insert any values for the email it will throw error like you should have a valid email address and you should give proper email address so for that we have used a not null means email shouldn't be a null okay so yeah so we have discussed about not null and the default constraint in this video i hope you got it yeah that's it in this video thank you